Okay, so first of all, I'm going to type game stop into Excel and then go to data and data types and stocks. Then it will try and find this stock for me and give me a list of options. So I can have the stock on the New York Stock Exchange or the Mexican Stock Exchange or the Dutch Stock Exchange. I'm going to select the New York Stock Exchange and I am doing this in order to get the ticker symbol which is the letters after the colon at the end. And then I will type G M E in here and then equals stock history. Then the stock will be this value here. And for the start date, I'm going to use the date formula to create this. The year will be 2021 the month one and the day one, so the 1st of January this year. Then the end date, I will use the today formula for that. Then for the interval, I can have daily, weekly or monthly. So I will select a zero for daily. And then for the headers, I can have no header, show header or two for show instrument identifier and header. And I'm going to select two for that. And then all of the rest of the values are the different properties I can choose from. I want to show all of the properties. So I'm going to do zero, one, two, three, four and five and then close brackets and enter. For a second, you will get the busy error message here. And that is because Excel is getting this information off of the internet. And then you will get all of these numbers. And you can see the close, open, high, low, and volume for all of January. Now to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm going to insert a spark line. And the data range will be this column here and OK. And then I can click and drag this to get spark lines for all of the columns and then just make this a little bit bigger. And now you can see that the game stop stock starts off really low at the beginning of January, then increases a little bit and then increases a lot at the end of January. And then for the last few days in January, it goes up and down. So you could have bought a stock on the 4th of January for about $17. And then if you sold that on the 29th of January, it would have been worth about $325. Now we can also look at other stocks. So I can change this to Amazon. And then I'll also edit the formula a little bit. So instead of the year, being 2021, I'll change this to 19 and change the month to seven. So I'm looking at July 2019. And then instead of having a daily interval, I'll change this to monthly and enter. And then we can see that Amazon increased during this time period. So it started off at about $1,800 and is now about $3,200. And let's also look at something that went down. So American Airlines. And you'll see that that decreased during the same time period. Now, the first four letters here in front of the colon are the stock exchange that Excel is getting these numbers from. So XNAS is the NASDAQ stock exchange. And then up here, GameStop is XNYS and that's the New York Stock Exchange. If you go onto the Microsoft website, they have a table of all of the market identifier codes and these are all of the stock exchanges that Microsoft can get data from. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to look at how a stock has changed over time in Excel. And that is everything.